Do you wonder why you lose matches frequently, even when you use some of the best serves? Well, we have the answer for you, as we will examine 8 worst habits that frequently destroy our matches and consider solutions for a more polished match. Though you may find these mistakes common, but these few habits can elegantly creep into our gameplay during the excitement of a match and undermine your performance. Let's examine these number 1, gazing at your ball. Of course, after making a fantastic shot, it may seem natural to keep your gaze fixed on the ball, but doing so can hurt your game. It is imperative that you remain mentally focused and ready for the return rather than getting carried away with appreciating your own shot. Imagine making a huge shot that sends your opponent reeling. One's first reaction might be to observe and wait for their reaction. However, this brief loss of concentration may result in the loss of critical time required for repositioning. It's crucial to develop mental muscle to reliably anticipate the ball's return in order to break this habit. Focus on anticipating the ball returning to your side of the table instead of obsessing over whether or not your shot was successful. How do you do this, you ask? Being mentally alert during the game requires a constant state of preparation and expectation. When you hit the ball, immediately turn your focus to your opponent and predict where the ball might land. With a proactive mentality, you can predict their shot, adjust your position, and get ready for your next move. Number 2. Reaching for a ball Yeah, you heard it correctly. Reaching for the ball is no doubt an automatic reflex during a table tennis match, particularly when a shot looks out of reach. Though it might seem like a built-in fix, this practice frequently results in poor shot execution and decreased playing effectiveness overall. The art of placement and movement, in addition to hitting the ball, is what makes a table tennis player great. The secret is to be proactive rather than reactive. An experienced player predicts the trajectory of the ball. They can anticipate and position themselves to make a well-considered shot thanks to this anticipation. In table tennis, accuracy results from a combination of smooth strokes and calculated placement. It's more than just swinging the paddle, it's also about timing and location. A player increases their chances of making accurate and smooth shots by embracing movement and continually modifying their position in anticipation of the ball's trajectory. The solution? It is essential to teach oneself how to move fluidly across the table in order to break the reaching habit. Focus on quick footwork and prompt repositioning to reach the ball rather than extending to reach it. Players can improve their ability to engage with each shot by moving in a proactive manner. They can also predict where the ball will land by developing an awareness of their opponent's playing style and tendencies. Players are able to strategically position themselves thanks to this foresight, which improves shot quality and increases rally success. Number 3. Hitting hard While it may be tempting to use all of your force on every shot in table tennis, doing so frequently results in inconsistent play. Although making hard hits on the ball could lead to winners from time to time, learning to make controlled shots is a more sustainable route to success. The misunderstanding that strength ensures success ignores the significance of accuracy and well-planned ball placement. Choosing to use controlled shots with about 80% power offers a balanced strategy that greatly improves gameplay accuracy and consistency. In table tennis, accuracy focuses on intentionally directing the ball as well as hitting it. Players can control more of where the ball lands on the other player's side of the table by lessening the force behind their shots and concentrating more on accuracy. More strategic play is made possible by this preference for accuracy over brute force, which creates opportunities for improved follow-up shots and rally control. Furthermore, a well-executed, controlled shot with the proper amount of force raises the possibility that the ball will land precisely where it is supposed to, applying pressure to the opposition and raising the possibility of scoring points. It helps players balance playing on offense with holding a firm defensive position. Number 4. Tight Grip When playing table tennis, holding the paddle too tightly can lead to some difficulties. Overly tight gripping the paddle restricts your wrist's range of motion. Your ability to control the ball and make deft shots is compromised by that restriction. Here's the thing though. Your wrist will move more freely if you relax your hold on the paddle. Paddle. You can move the paddle with more control when you have a relaxed grip. It's similar to allowing your wrist greater space to perform its function. It's more difficult to modify your shots and give the ball more spin when your grip is too tight. However, when you relax a little, your wrist can move more naturally, which enables you to spin the ball and better control its movement across the table. In short, playing your best game is made easier when you have a relaxed grip on the paddle, which gives you more control, finesse, and flexibility in your shots. Number 5. Mindless Serving Serving in table Table tennis involves more than just striking the ball to initiate play. This is your opportunity to make the case for yourself. Imagine striking the ball aimlessly. That would be akin to passing up a fantastic chance. The issue is this. You have decisions to make each time you serve. Would you like to spin the ball? Make it longer or shorter? Perhaps throw your opponent off guard with a cunning serve? These decisions provide you with an advantage because they have an impact on how your rival will return the ball. It makes more sense to have a plan than to just serve blindly. Consider your preferred serve technique. A quick 
quick top spin or a deft back spin. Consider your opponent's possible reaction to your serve and modify your strategy accordingly. You can exert pressure on your opponent from the outset by planning your serve strategy. I know what I'm doing and I'm ready for whatever comes back, is how one could interpret it. To seize the initiative and position yourself for success at each point, make intelligent use of your skills, have a plan, and be flexible. Number six, pushing long balls. Although gently pushing the ball back might seem like a safe move, it doesn't really help you get better. It's similar to remaining in your cozy zone, but there's a more effective way to improve your skills. Imagine yourself facing off against someone who hits a skilled spinning shot that sails off to your side. Strike it with a top spin instead of just gently pushing it back. It's a little riskier, but there's also an opportunity to improve your abilities. You push yourself when you can return a long spinning ball with a top spin. It gives your game more variation and teaches you how to handle difficult shots. Although it might not function flawlessly at first, accepting this challenge will help you improve and gain greater confidence in handling difficult situations. Therefore, don't just push those long balls back whenever you feel safe. Try hitting them with top spin and see how it helps you play better. Take a chance. Number 7. Predictable Ball Placement Try varying your approach to shots rather than using the same one every time. To hit the ball in various areas of the table, use your backhand. Next, reverse it and use your forehand in the same manner. This variation keeps the opposition off guard. It is more difficult for your opponent to predict where the ball will go next when you vary the placement of your shots. In a sense, you're keeping them alert. You make it more difficult for them to predict your moves when you surprise them with different shots across the table. Therefore, it's important to avoid getting into a routine. In order to keep your opponent guessing, mix things up and alternate between backhand and forehand shot placements. You have an advantage throughout the game because of the variety in your play, which makes it harder for them. Number 8. Standing Upright You can't move as quickly from side to side when you stand too straight. However, the game changes if you slightly bend your knees, slightly lean forward, and find a little bounce in your stance. Being in a lower stance keeps you more flexible. You'll be able to move more quickly, make those difficult shots, and hit the ball harder. It is akin to obtaining a superpower within your gaming. It is simpler to respond to the ball, move quickly around the table, and hit shots with more force when you're in the correct stance. Thus, you're preparing yourself for improved gameplay, more power, more agility, and an all-around stronger game by lowering yourself and adopting that good stance. It's important to keep in mind that becoming proficient at this thrilling sport requires more than just mastering the game's technical aspects. Unlocking your full potential at the table requires addressing these eight bad habits, which range from reaching for the ball to standing too straight. You set yourself up for an improved game by realizing these habits and making an effort to break them. Developing agility, accuracy, and strategic thinking becomes second nature to you as a player. Remember that our passion for table tennis is fueled by the journey of improvement as you work to overcome these challenges.